Okay, today I am in the middle of making, um, kind of like a washing clothes set for a doll. And right now I'm going to make a washing board. So what you will need is plastic, very thin plastic digging straws. So you could always substitute with a wooden bamboo sewer. Bamboo sewer. Popsicle sticks. Hot glue and hot glue gun. Aluminum foil. And a wooden dowel. Mm -hmm. So let's begin. I start by taking my pops or my my drinking straws, gluing them all together, forming a big long line of drinking straws. So I just make it as long as I can. Once I've glued together about eight drinking straws, I'm going to take my scissors, wherever they are, Gonna take my scissors and just trim off all the, you know, remaining tops and stuff. Okay, so my camera did some weird thing. So once you've glued together about eight drinking straws, like I said before, so you know, I went and got some better scissors, and then um, you cut your, you cut off the extra tops, and then you cut. And so then you have just one piece, and then you cut that one piece in half and glue the two halves on top of each other. And then you just cut them off the extra. And now what you're going to do is take your foil, and I need to go get my foil. My foil is over here. Sorry, dropped the camera. I'm not very good at holding this camera. Okay, now just cut off a piece, and... Sorry about the noise. Now you take that and take this. And now I'm going to cut a piece that's just a teensy, teensy bit bigger than this. That's a little, little, little bit bigger. Like. Like that. Just cut it. Now, put glue on the edges of the straw right there. Like so. And then fold over the tin, or yeah, the aluminum foil. Or tin foil if you have it, but you know, if that's what you're using. Tin foil would work too, I guess. Whatever tin foil is. Like that. Now, you just push it in to get that texture. To get kind of the texture that those things are. You can use your fingernail or whatever, just to kind of get that texture. So it looks like a washing board. See I'm doing that? Yeah, so just make it all rigid. Want it to be all rigid. And then fold over the other side and glue it there. And sorry, you might be able to see it that well since it takes a lot of eyes to look at this, so I'm not actually looking through the camera, so hopefully it's at good angles and stuff. So, so and then I'm just gonna um, fold up these sides, and you don't have to glue them. And then so fold up these sides, and then just do the same thing to the other side that we did on this side. Okay, I'm in the middle of doing the other side, and I just wanted to say I found out a good way to give it that bumpy texture. 
So put your two fingers where you think like, like between two straws and then just do that lightly. So you just go all the way down like that until you reach the end. And then just continue. So this time, you know how like right here we didn't glue down the sides? Well this time glue down the sides. And just so I've covered the whole thing and the paper tore a little, but er, the default hole. The aluminum foil tore a little, but um, I'm just not going to pay any attention to that. So, you know, be careful. And now what? Oh, yes. Now I am going to get my tin foil for my. That one. And now I'm going to get my popsicle sticks. Popsicle sticks. That's what we need popsicle sticks. And. So take your popsicle sticks, and I'm gonna go get a picture of a real washboard just to kind of base off of. So I'll get those things, and I'll be right back. Okay, so here's some pictures of real washing boards. So I'm gonna base off of that. And so I glued two popsicle sticks together. So that's what you need to do. You take two large popsicle sticks and you glue them together. So I cut it off. So you just glue two two it together. And then you just cut them, like so, according to how big the top of your thing is. So, it's going to mark there. It's a little bit harder whenever you're watching through the camera. So just cut there. Try to make it pretty exact, which I am not paying too much attention on doing that, just because I'm filming. So, do that. So that fits pretty well. And now, take your dowel, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue this on top. So, use your hot glue gun for that, obviously. And, oh dear. I have to put in another glue stick since it just ran out of glue. And I just put that on top. And then just, um, oh dear, ouch. Owie. Now, you don't have to put any supporting, like, lines of glue unless you want to because we're going to have dowels to support this too. Now, take a pencil, which I did not name. See, I did not name that you need scissors or a pencil because um, most people have those things. So, you take a pencil and you just mark where the top of that is. And you will also need something to cut your dowel. So, like a saw or dog nail clippers, which I do not have. But So you mark there. And then you mark next to that, you mark here. So starting at the line you drew before, you mark there. And... Then you mark on the other side. Can you see where we're going? You have to mark every single side of this rectangle we have here. You can't see very well, can you? There you go. That's what there. And so just mark all sides and then go and cut that somehow. So I had this, the rods cut for me, and um, if you see on the edges, I'm actually, strangely enough, using construction paper, since I couldn't find any sandpaper. So, just sand those edges just a little bit, you don't have to like spend a lot of time making them perfect. Just gotta give off all the splinters. So it's nice. And I probably should have done this before I started filming, but oh well. So, 
now. You take this and you take your heart glue gun and you just glue them all the way around it. So it would look better if that was all the, all the way covered and I might like cover the side with some popsicle stick like that and so then there you have your wash wash and board for an American girl. So there you go. I glued popsicle sticks on the side, so don't make the mistake I did, but what I would do is for the shorter measurements, I would just make them two times as long, so I just add on um, twice the width of my dowel onto the side, onto the top and bottom measurements. And then just leave, leave the side one how it is. Or you could do what I did, but it doesn't look as good as it was. So, here is an American Girl doll, like, doll. She's 18 inches, but I don't know what kind she is. I don't think they sell her any, sell this kind of doll anymore, but she's the first 18 inch doll I ever had. So, there it is compared to her. And it's a teensy bit big, maybe. Um, I've seen pictures on the web, like I said. So, um, like I showed, I know what they look like, so. But, I like it. 